student, that is tiny brother, and a wife coming in. Morning, Charlie. How do you do, Glenda? And who is this? It's my sister, Nora. Pleasure to meet you, Nora. Hope to see you later. You want a boss head? Nobody's going to do that to you, my dear. What about your wife? I wish you could make it. Where come on, you? Nora. It's come, come to help Tiny. Good morning, my dear. Sit down. We have not got a chance to talk since I got here. It's like a merry-go-round. Everybody is busy with the wedding. It's finally here. Your father tells me you're involved with the church. Yes. It's a good thing. Faith, I mean. It never leaves you, no matter what happens. I believe in God. But there were times when things were going good, but I forgot him. But whenever I speak to him, he listens. You have a problem now, don't you? Why do you say that? Just the way you spoke just now. As long as one is alive, one has problems. It's the way we handle them that matters. Ben told me that once, in almost the same words. Ben is a good boy. Sensible and mature. You too. I'm sure your mother was very proud of both of you. Sometimes. She was a good woman in every way. Even when she was dying. She knew she was dying for a long time. But she didn't let anyone know. She didn't want to upset anyone. Not even dad? Especially him. You and Ben. I remember when we were kids. She used to pray with us. She always prayed that God would spare her life so she could take care of us until we were able to take care of ourselves. That was her biggest wish in life, to see Ben and me able to stand on our feet. She got her wish. That was the important thing. Not many of us do. What's your biggest wish, Aunt Lily? I'll tell you before I leave. Come in. This is certainly not the right day for women's gossip. There are a lot of things to do. But first of all, breakfast. Give me five minutes. What was that all about? Nothing. You sure? I'm sure. Really? No time to talk today, Conrad. Tomorrow? Maybe. 